Wednesday, March 20th, in the year of our Lord 2013. How are all y'all doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's Happy Hump Day. It's Western Wednesday. Yeehaw, Western Wednesday. And it is also the first day of spring, so let's spring into action with our unofficial sponsor of the show right off the bat, my man Rob Johnson, CompuTune. This guy's a walking brain, fixes computers. I can attest to the fact he's helped me out personally, living in Taunton, Massachusetts, with his better half, the lovely, gorgeous, awesome Stephanie Johnson. Steph Johnson, I've known her since ninth. I've known her over 30 years. And uh, Rob and Steph, totally wicked awesome friends. They support the show often. And they've helped my friends out with their computer issues. Beer is good for you. Folks, let's bring out the next unofficial sponsor of the show. Yo! Yeah! Magazine. It's all about tattoos and heavy metal music and good stuff like that. They watch my show. I support this site. Check it out. Yell Magazine. On the old Facebook. Give them some love. Hit that like button and see what they're all about. And then we got my uh, my cousin, the awesome Yvette Hindle, officer manager of uh, Helen H. Offshore Fishing, Hyannis, Massachusetts, Cape Cod. Go there, get some fishing equipment, get yourself a boat. Talk to my cousin Yvette, she will hook you up. And let her know you know her cousin, the love doctor, okay? She'll know what's up. And then my good friend, uh, Paul Gauguin, of, uh, he's out in South Chatham, Massachusetts. Uh, my cousin's awesome boyfriend and hopefully fiance, hopefully husband someday. He does upholstery, he refurbishes automobiles and trucks and all kinds of good stuff. Guy does an amazing job. My father's going to be getting his truck redone. So there you go. My unofficial sponsors. I'm Wicked Pies right now. It's Yeehaw Wednesday. How about we put a boot in that ass? And uh, let's bring out today's beer of the day. I've been aching to drink this one. I've never had it before. I've had plenty of Abita out of Abita Springs, Louisiana, better known as Southern Arkansas. But we got Abita Mardi Gras Bar. <coughs> Seasonal. Never had it. 6.5%, so it's got some kick to it. Brewed with pale pilsner and caramel malts and German pearl hops. Our box is similar to German mailbox, or Maybox, excuse me. With its rich malt flavor and full body, perfect choice during carnival season in New Orleans. Power beer opening up, right? proper technique, 45 degree angle coming up in a moment. Good pop from my man Justin Dimmitt, executive producer of the show, creator of the beer song today, Facebook page. 45 degree angle right into the beer consumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm just that damn good. Whoa, look at that, eh? Perfect pour each and every time. A little bit of kick in the boot, foaming it up a little bit, but that's all right. Cheers and beers to all of you. Prost is in Germany. Kapai is the same Japan. There's a lot of action going on in this beer. And I like it. It's a good beer. A good solid B on this one. I like this beer. I can't even describe it. Wow. It's good. And I'm not a big Pilsner guy. That's a good one. So, there you go. As my, uh, probably my uh, other admin, uh, the Honorable Sarah Milligan, the um, graphic designer and our uh, and our art director, also runs your Hunk of the Day album for you. Amazing woman. Her and Justin, thank you so much for doing what you do. You two are truly wicked awesome. And with that said, I need to get moving on some birthdays. And we got a lot of them today. Right off the bat, my good friend, Becky Humphreys. My card partner. My cribbage partner. Um, two sets of fo, Two sets of fo, Ofo. Now that, my wife had two very best friends in jolly old England. One of them is our good friend, Kim Thayer. The better half of our buddy, Jerry Thayer. Great folks. And then we've got Becky the better half of our good friend, Dave Humphreys. Awesome, awesome lady. And Becky, happy birthday to you, sweetie. Hope you're doing well. We miss the hell out of you. We love you. And uh, I want my cribbage partner back so we can beat Dave and Farrah. Okay? But Becky, my dear, you have a wicked awesome day. And a big, big, big hearty cheers and beers to you. Hope you enjoy the show. We miss you. And uh, hope to hear from you soon. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, next on the list. Celebrating a milestone birthday. A leader of men and women and it's and a damn good one. I worked with him in good old California, the land of fruits and nuts. And then I worked with him again in jolly old England. He's a fellow Masonic brother. And he is celebrating a big milestone birthday, my good friend. Big Money Brian Houston. What's going on, brother? How you doing? I know you got a wicked hardcore party coming this weekend. I so wish I could be there, but Mama's got us going to San Antonio for the River Walk, which I haven't been at since February 29th, 1992. So I'm sure it's changed a lot in 21 years. But my man, I want to give you the Love Doctor salute and uh, miss you, bud. We will get together and reminisce on great times. Definitely a pleasure and an honor working with awesome people like you. Hope you enjoy the show and uh, have a wicked awesome day, my friend and fellow brother. Next on the list, another great leader of men and women, and it's, and I worked with this great man in good old Japan, and he's a fellow Red Sox fan, and has been a long time, my man, Dale Mullins, celebrating a milestone birthday, him and my friend Brian were born the same exact month, day, year, and uh, celebrating true milestones, Dale, how you doing, my brother, hope you're doing well, and uh, I know you're not on the old Facebook a whole lot, but hope to hear from you. You, my friend, you have a wicked awesome day. You get the love, Dr. Salute. We went on a lot of trips together. It was great times when we were working together in Japan, and I will never, ever, ever forget it. Yeah. Squeeze me. Next on the list, a good friend I've known for a lot of years back home, a lovely lady, my good friend. I knew her as Christy Noise. Christy Mayhew, happy birthday to you. I know you're a follower of this here show. As is Big Brian, Becky, Dale, I think you followed it. Um, but anyway, Christy, hope you're doing well. I know you're going to have a wicked awesome day. Live it up. Enjoy it. Celebrate it well. And uh, always a pleasure hearing from you. And a uh, very great, a great, great friend of mine. Cheers and beers to you, Christy. You have a wicked awesome day. Next on the list. Ah, my man, Van B. Kevin Van Bokkevin. Now, this guy is a badass, spike-chasing son of a gun. I worked with a jolly old England. And this man is a very, very, very hardcore New York Giants fan, football Giants. And him and I have ranted back and forth for years. And yes, that scumbag that you got to support being a Giants fan Eli, I wish I was as good as Tom Brady. Manning! Hey, I know he's got two Super Bowl rings. You know what? And his brother Peyton's got one. And they combined have the same amount as my man Tom Brady. Hey, Eli! Hey, Kev. I love you, buddy. But you know what? As far as Eli Manning's concerned, he can take those two rings and shove them up his ass. And uh, I give him a big fat, you know it, GFY. But Kev, you don't get a GFY. Because you're a true fan, too thick and thin. Much respect to you, brother. I missed the hell out of you. Missed playing Texas Hold'em with you. You have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. Next on the list. Celebrating a milestone. And I've known her since 1975. Yeah, she lived two houses up from us. Okay, been here in Massachusetts. That's right. My good friend. And fellow graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1991, the best damn graduating class in the history of mankind, womankind, and it kind, Kelly Comber, as I knew her, Kelly Santos, happy birthday to you. Always a pleasure whenever I, I come home on vacation. I still see you. You haven't aged a bit. How do you do it? A lot of us folks from class of 1991 haven't aged much. Have you noticed that? Because we enjoy life and still do. Kelly, always a pleasure hearing from you. Always a pleasure seeing you. You have a wicked awesome day from your neighbor down here in Yeehaw, Texas. Cheers and beers to you and have a kick-ass birthday. Milestone birthday indeed. And next on the list, a lovely lady I have yet to meet in person, but a fellow mafia at on the old mafia wars. And uh, my good friend, LaDonna Shoemake, happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. I hope you watch this here show and realize that the love doctor on the Mafia Wars, he's a crazy son of a gun, but we're having a lot of fun. And LaDonna, 
Thank you for always helping me out. Pleasure and honor helping you out. That's what good Mafia folks do. Mafia Wars Facebook. Check it out, folks. LaDonna, you have a wicked awesome day. And a big Heidi cheers and beers to you. And I hope you enjoy the show. Next on the list. Celebrating a milestone birthday. Another one. My G GCS posse member from jolly old England. My man, Alberto Emmons. Al Emmons. This guy is absolutely wicked awesome. Already heard from him this morning. Dude. How you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Missed the hell out of you, dude. You were a pleasure and an honor to work with. And uh, you were not afraid to tell it like it is. And I know you're still the same way. And the parties we had in jolly old England were the stuff of legends. Even the time you freaking gave me 151 and I said my name was Ralph. I thought it was 80 proof regular. Um, oh, well, hell, what the hell. We were drinking regular Bacardi, okay? And then all of a sudden, there were shots of, I thought it was 80 proof. Mm, yeah, snuck in the 151, you bastard. But hey, it's all good. And uh, brother, you have a wicked awesome day. Rugby player, badass, ultra cool dude. Much respect to you. Miss working with you. You, cheers and beers. I hope you enjoy the show. Big Al Lemons, a BMF indeed. Next on the list. My man, Steve Egan. Now, this guy works on life support equipment for people. That's what he does. Saves lives. An awesome man. And I've known him in jolly old England. Worked with him. Steve, how you doing? Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Dude, hope you celebrate it well. Have a pint or two. And watch this show. I miss you, bud. Always a pleasure chatting with you. And uh, you have a wicked awesome day. Big hearty cheers and beers to you, huh? All right, next on the list. Unbelievable. Lots of birthdays, folks, 12 of them. Ah, I only know this person as Sad Case. Fellow Mafia Wars player. And uh, Sad Case, a unique name indeed. I love it. Always a pleasure helping each other out on the Mafia Wars. Thank you for your support. You have a wicked awesome day. Enjoy your birthday, and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Cheers and beers. Next on the list. I remember this young man the day he was born. To my good friends, Jay and his better half, Heidi Williams, and I, his sister, um, Brittany, my niece, a total sweetheart, and then they had a son. My good friends, Jay and Heidi. Cameron Williams. Happy birthday to you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in forever, but... I hope to hear from you. I hope you enjoy the show. You have a wicked awesome day. And the Love Doctor salute goes out to the entire Williams family. I miss you all. Jay, Heidi, Brittany, Cameron. You guys are absolutely wicked awesome. And, uh, <coughs> squeeze me. Hope you enjoy the show. I'm living in your stomping grounds. Yeah, Texas. Although I know it's southern Oklahoma. Ha <laughs> ha. I know Jay and Heidi are going to kill me now. They are true Texans at its finest. And the final birthday of the day Goes to another fellow Mafia Wars player that I haven't heard from in a long time. Uh, Tatiana Romanov. Happy birthday to you. Ultra cool name. And uh, thank you for your help with the Mafia Wars. Much appreciated. You have a wicked awesome day. And hey, celebrate well and enjoy, Tatiana. With all the friends you have, you probably got about a thousand birthday wishes coming today. All right, now we need to get moving here. That was a lot of birthdays, folks. Um, we've got trivia. Oh, my goodness. we got trivia contest winners to announce over the past few days that I've fallen behind on. Here we go. First trivia question. True or false? Disney turned down the idea for Back to the Future because they felt a movie dealing with a mother falling in love with her son was too risque. The answer was true, and that was provided by my good friend, fellow GCS posse member who I worked with in jolly old England, Jeremy Luth. Jeremy, what's up, brother? Dude, this guy's always involved in crazy-ass political discussions. And he's a wicked hardcore Bears fan like my buddy Kevin Sherman. The Sherman, the, the Kevin A. Tall. And uh, frequent contributor to this here show. Always a big help. And uh, patented 
Thrash Metal Thursday, and I'm keeping that baby running. But anyway, Jeremy, dude, well done. You got it right, buddy. And uh, quit trying to disagree with everybody on those political posts, okay? It's okay to agree with people. Ah, you kill me sometimes there, you jackass. Much love, brother. No homo. Next question. This was actually posted on Sunday. Remember uh, St. Patty's Day? And I missed it. I overlooked this one. Where and how old is the oldest Irish pub? Well, that answer was Sean's Bar, Athlone County, Westmeath, 900 AD, folks. Now, my cousin, Christine Taylor, was the first to chime in with that and provided that. And then my good friend from jolly old England, Jane Gale, she really laid everything out perfectly, did some research. Jane, well done. And the only reason why I'm not giving my cousin Christine some love at the moment is because you'll see. But Jane, way to go. Wicked awesome job. And a happy cheers and beers to you. Hope you enjoyed the show. Congrats on winning that trivia question. Jeremy, congrats on winning yours. And uh, the final question, posted by my good friend Justin Dimmitt. Naturally, Star Trek. Tied in with Back to the Future, one of my all-time favorite movies ever. Um, Leonard Nimoy was offered the director's chair for Back to the Future, but refused because he was busy with Star Trek for, for The Voyage Home, with a storyline for that. And that was a true or false question. And, of course, my cousin said, true! Christine Taylor, way to go! Well done! And uh, congratulations, and a big cheers and beers to you. So trivia questions knocked out. Let's get to ourselves some celebrity birthdays. And while we do that, let's bring out the hunk of the day. Yeah! -ha! Gotta load, load, load the truck up. Yeah, that's right. If you know that song, and I wish I had it, I'd be playing it. Jason Aldean. What a name. That's a country name right there. Jason Aldean. Mm -hmm. That's a country man. And that's a country song. Loot, 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 truck up. That's a, it sounds like a really good song. If somebody has it, send it to me. And I'll feature it on Beer and Song of the Day, Western Wednesday edition. But anyway, on this day in 1976, Chester Bennington was born. Well, who's that, little doctor? Ah, the vocalist for Linkin Pike. If you don't know this person, you are seriously misguided. We're talking about... Born on this day in 1928, Latrobe, Pennsylvania, passed away in 2003 at the age of 74, just short of 75. The late great Mr. Rogers, Fred Rogers, legend for many years. He did so many great things. A lot of people made fun of him, but I'll tell you what. What Fred Rogers did and the charities that he did, the guy was a legend and a class act. Rest in peace, Mr. Rogers. You were definitely sorely missed. Um, next on the list, ah, probably, quite possibly the greatest Boston Bruin hockey player of all time. We still talk about him to this day, even though he's been retired forever. Bobby Orr, celebrating a milestone birthday, 65 years old. Bobby Orr, look him up. That dude was a legend. I mean, we know Ray Bork was an absolute badass, but defenseman Bobby Orr sadly only played for 10 seasons. But those seasons were memorable. First ballot Hall of Famer, too. The guy was a beast. Um, how about this one? Director Spike Lee, born on this day in 1957. We all know how he, phenomenal director. Sometimes I question his uh, political stances or whatever. But Spike Lee, love him, hate him. He's, a high, he's an awesome director. And he's... One of the most wicked hardcore New York Knicks fans you're ever going to find. you got to respect that. Because the Knicks ain't won shit in over 40 years, okay? So when you're a Knicks fan, that's a true fan. And Spike Lee, got to respect him for that. How about Holly Hunter for the movie The Piano? Yeah, she's 55 today. How about this one? This lady, born March 20th, 1963. A legend indeed. Super, super model. Kathy Ireland, folks. I remember when she graced the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition over 20 years ago, or almost 20 years ago. <clears throat> I cannot believe she's 50 today. Wow! Kathy Ireland, and you look great still. And I've got friends that have turned 50 today. 
It's pretty impressive. Way to go, Kathy Ireland. Happy milestone birthday to you. How about this guy? Legendary director, father of Rob Reiner. We all know him from uh, All in the Family, Meathead Mike. But his father, Carl Reiner. Now, I thought he was born in 1926, but apparently no. Found out later he was born in 1922. He is 91 years old today and still going strong. Comedian, a legendary comedian for many, many years. Worked for Mel Brooks for on a lot of collaborations. Carl Reiner, absolutely wicked awesome. Happy birthday to you. Milestone, well, just a milestone because he's 91. That is outstanding. How about Ozzy Nelson of the um, Harry Den Nelson? Born on this day, 1906, passed away in 1975. Ozzy and Harriet, famous TV show in the 50s. Legendary head coach of the Lakers, then the Knicks, now the, well, then the Miami Heat. And I have actually seen him do motivational speech in Utah. The guy is an amazing motivator and speaker. I can attest to that. The guy is amazing. Even though I've never been a big fan of him until I saw his, until I witnessed his speech. Wow. How about Pat Riley, 68 years old today? Um, on his day, 1918, passed away in 1984. Legendary game show host Jack Barry, famous for Tic Tac Doe before Wink Martindale. Um, 21 and Joker's Wild. I remember that show. I remember watching that before he passed away. Um, how about Hal Linden? Barney Miller, 82 years old today. Look at there you go, Jason Aldean. Mm-hmm, ladies, right? Vera Lynn is 96 today, folks. And she is English, she's an English singer, songwriter, and actress. 96. That deserves the Love Doctor salute. That is awesome. And finally, born on this day in 1881, passed away in 1945, Fritz Flumer. The hell kind of name is that, right? Well, he invented the magnetic tape, helping to change the way we record and playback sounds. That is huge. Thank you, Fritz. Way to go. And thank you for not having your equipment on the Fritz. With that said, how about some, um, let's get to the uh, random facts of the day. We got to blow through these ones real quick. Because I need, I got a song for all y'all that's a true yeehaw country song. It is a real country song. I promise you that. Okay. But <clears throat> let's bring out last year, movie John Carter becomes one of the biggest losses in film history. Disney lost $200 million with that movie. Disney doesn't lose mo money much. They did with that trash, I guess. John Carter. Never even heard of the movie. On this day in 1997, Liggett admits that cigarettes are addictive. Are you freaking kidding me? You took the 1997 to tell us, oh, cigarettes are addictive. Liggett from Era Famous, Liggett and Myers, L&M, you know. Yeah. Why did they wait that long? Damn. Businesses. You know what? You deserve a GFY for that crap. On a day in 1996, remember Eric and Lyle Melendez, uh, Menendez, the Menendez brothers? Yeah, they got found guilty for murdering their parents in California. I was living there at the time, and I saw that shit on TV every day, and I got annoyed with it. The Menendez brothers, just, yeah, just do that. On a day in 1995, another terrible thing. You heard about the salmon gas attack. Of course you have. Poison gas released on Tokyo subway. Twelve people were killed. 4,700 injured. Just awful act of terrorism. You schmucks deserve that. The terrorists, not the people. Oh, my goodness. Honest day in 1956. Tunisia gains independence from France. Way to go. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Honest day in 1954. I did not know this. This is awesome. The very first newspaper vending machine was used. Columbia, Pennsylvania. I thought newspaper vending machines were around a lot longer than that. Guess not. Honestly, 1935, Your Hit Parade debuts on radio. Way to go. Very famous show. Honestly, 1922, WIP, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, begins radio transmissions. Honestly, 1897, the first known intercollegiate basketball game ever was playing. Played the first known one as Yale beat Penn. 32 to 10. That's a low scoring game, huh? And finally, on this day in 1852, a controversial book was published in Boston, Massachusetts. Harriet Beecher Stowe's ever-famous 
Uncle Tom's Cabin. Yippers, there you go. Now you know. Let's get to the song of the day. And I have to throw this out there right now. If you are offended by foul language, or if you are a child watching this, stop listening for over the next four minutes, okay? Please. This song is a legendary song by a legendary band who Roy Rogers was a part of from 1933 to 1937. This band also accompanied Roy Rogers in all his cowboy movies in the 30s and 40s. And who are we talking about? The Sons of the Pioneers. And this very unique treat for all y'all is a song from 1943 called The Strawberry Roan. You ain't ever heard country music like this. Not this type of country music in this style. Wow. And let's enjoy this succulent babe of the day, Shania Twain. Because I am well overdue for this lovely lady. Whoa. Justin Dimmitt. I love this picture. Shania Twain. And that's not Coke the soda either. I will remain quiet and let you enjoy Shania Twain. As you enjoy the lyrics of the song. I think he just dropped the F-bomb, folks. Yes, he said, worst F-bombing Bronco. They said cock. Drop the GD. Not good. Whoa! That wasn't her. Who cares? That is. Yeah! Shania Twain, married to a man named Mutt. See that saying one from Deliverance. He said nuts. Happy to the brain cells and every Yankee fan. A turd. Cowboys fans might like that. 
Dan Butler, you better enjoy that one, buddy. Folks, <laughs> it's hard to believe that song's 70 years old, huh? <coughs> All right, kids, you can plug your ears back in now, okay? You ain't never heard an old school country song like that. I guarantee you haven't. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, it's time to make like a fetus and head out so everybody take care of Wicked Awesome Night and Day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I went to. Don't drink and drive. You might spare your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being the Yanks fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady in your friggin' dreams. Manning or men slapping with, look at that bodysuit, or racism or animal abuse. Things like that are just plain stupid. Ooh. And definitely deserve a big, fat GFY. Folks, I'm out of here. I will see you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.